I don't want to say I'm really old. Ancient might be a better term, but I am now in a museum, and not just any museum, but one of the best in the world, the Anderson Abruzzo Albuquerque Balloon Museum. And we've got a show this morning that is probably going to make me a blubbering idiot, even more so than normal by the end of the day. Of a better way for Steve Stucker to end his thank you tour. Mr. Balloon Fiesta himself in his natural habitat. At the Balloon Museum. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Danielle and Gabe. We're, we're, we're out here with my, my new friend I just met. Your name is Tyler, right? Yep. And you had a question you wanted to ask. Mm -hmm. How many... How did you get so many pins? How did I get so many pins? Well, I started collecting before your parents were born, and uh, people just walked up and handed them to me like I'm going to hand this one to you to add to your collection. There you go, okay? Thank you. Keep it up. You got a good start there, buddy. Looking good. I want to bring in Nan Maslin, who's the uh, director at the Anderson Abruzzo Albuquerque Balloon Museum. Spectacular facility. I love this place uh, for the ballooning history, the displays, uh, the community involvement. I mean, you guys host all kinds of events, weddings and conferences, but it's all about hot air and gas ballooning. That's right, Steve. And I know that you've been supporting the Balloon Museum even since before we opened. <laughs> and we want to be um, some of the, the first and the last to thank you for all that you have done to support the, the ballooning community at large, but also specifically this museum. You've been to almost every gala. You're always seeing our praises wherever you go, and we're so grateful for your support. Well, it's such a cool place. It's such a jewel for Albuquerque, and as much as I love this place, I can't believe until this year I didn't understand that the architects designed it, so from the sky it looks like a balloon that's lying down getting ready to stand yeah, that's right. up. Right, so right from the front it looks like a balloon inflating, and from the back it looks like a fully inflated balloon. Uh, give, give us an idea of how big this is, how many different displays you oh have. my gosh. Well, we right now we're standing in the Grand Hall and behind us we have all those record breaking hot I mean it's the gas balloon right. flights. And then um, in front of us is also the Grand Hall where we have our canopy of color, our new 50th balloon fiesta exhibit. And then we have all of our rotating exhibits. Uh, we have two new ones coming in right now that were um, Bryce Risley's photo exhibit and then uh, Dirigible Dreams. Okay, and, and before we run out of time, I want to briefly mention this is a this is a temporary exhibit and it cracks me up. That's right. I'm old. I'm in a museum. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. But we've got a real important event coming up Friday. It's your annual gala. That's right, Steve. We're so looking forward to it. Thanks for hosting. Have my and, pleasure. Uh, being our MC, it's going to be a wonderful evening. If folks haven't gotten their tickets, there are still just a few available um, on balloonmuseum.com. Okay. Well, what else would I do the day after I retire <laughs> right. than host? the uh, Balloon Museum Gala. We're not going to give you a break. <laughs> and really, Steve, thank you so much for this. Um, you know, you're loaning us this incredible, your your jacket and your hat. You're going to wear them one last time, this Balloon Fiesta, and then we get to keep them in our permanent collection. Such a generous gift that really people from all around the world and right here in Albuquerque are going to enjoy every time. And I can't think of a better place for it than right here at the heart well, of our museum. Thank you so much. And the pilots came out in force for you, Steve. Oh my gosh, could my grin be any bigger? <laughs> I tell you what, I, I'm just uh, so touched and having so much fun. We're out here at the uh, Anderson Abruzzo Albuquerque Balloon Museum. Nan Maslin, the director, is here with us. Nancy Abruzzo, part of the Abruzzo family and the great rich history. Thanks for coming out this oh, morning. Would not miss it, Steve. We're, 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 it. we're so happy you're here. And uh, Peter Cuneo, champion balloonist, longtime hot air and gas balloonist, and Art Lloyd Jr., my buddy, broadcaster for many, many years known as the on-field voice with your with your partner every morning here at Balloon Fiesta for how many years now? Well, we've been doing it together. Glenn's been here 33 years. We've been doing it as a team for about seven years now. Balloon Fiesta Live, and we need to get you over to help us out. Well, I I, I may just do that one of these days. I should have some more time on my hands I here in so. a little bit. I hope so. Now, oh, they, they gave me this two-way radio. We've got all these balloons out here. Art was helping me with the, uh, with the command. We wanted to light them up for you, so... Uh, pilots, 
If you can hear me, all burn. Here we go. <laughs> boy, boy, does that make a guy feel powerful. And, and so do great signs like this. It's my birthday, Steve. Uh, hey, no, this is my opportunity to thank you. I, I can't thank you all enough for showing up. This tour around the state has been so much fun, but it is kicking this old man's rear end, I tell you what. <laughs> and uh, the first stop was in the beautiful Espanola Valley. This is the last stop on the tour. I will be in studio tomorrow just so I can harass Danielle one last time here. Uh, but, but this has just been so much fun and such a joy. We're out here. The show will continue until 7. I'll stick around until 8. We're right off of Alameda Boulevard, Balloon Fiesta Parkway. Just come north to the museum. If you want to stop by, we'd love to do selfies and uh, tell stories. I'm a weatherman, so I still got a few lies left in me before, <laughs> before I'm all finished here. But this is just a great facility. And I don't want to neglect to mention that uh, this is all separate. The Balloon Fiesta and the Balloon Museum are two completely different entities. They work together. They love each other and support each other. But uh, two totally different organizations. And Friday, two days after I retire, I have the honor of hosting their annual gala out here. Uh, it's a blue and white affair, and we'd love to see you. Tickets are still available, and you can get details on their website. Somebody just made an observation. We have almost exactly the same number of balloons here this morning that we had at the original Balloon Fiesta back in 1972. And it's just been such a great turnout. And I wanted to, to talk with leaders from the two different organizations that do so much for ballooning around the world, the uh, Balloon Museum and the uh, Balloon Fiesta Board of Directors. You guys uh, work together a lot, but you're totally separate entities. How does that work? Well, we'd like to say we're neighbors that have a great friendship and relationship. Yes, we're, we're two different entities. The, the Balloon Museum is, is through the city of Albuquerque. And of course, Fiesta is its own company, um, its own uh, nonprofit organization. But uh, we overlap on most things, and Sam Parks and I are in communication almost on a daily basis. We are. And, 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 and Sam, you and, you and Nan uh, both benefit each from the other in working together. We do. As you can see, we're right here at the park together. We are neighbors, and so we want to complement each other, and it's, it's a great collaboration between our two organizations. Well, I, I owe so much to both organizations. I stumbled across Balloon Fiesta about 35, 40 years ago, and uh, I, I've loved it so much. It's, it's become such a big part of my life. And, you know, I, I just love seeing the visitors here. The, I don't care how much they've traveled, how sophisticated they are. They walk out onto the Fiesta field or they walk into the museum and they become like little kids all of a sudden. Seventy percent of the people who attended Balloon Fiesta last year actually from outside of the state of New Mexico. That's really amazing amazing and so it's really a great uh, banner for us and and I've always tried to be an ambassador for the event because I, I, I love it so much and I might as well say it now we we, we told you you know I, I am retiring tomorrow I'll be on air with with the Danielle and Gabe in the studio it'll be my final day and I'll I'll be done at, at, at Channel 4 after my my 33 year career but we have agreed that I'm going to come back to Balloon Fiesta for four days this year and we'll broadcast slide. Okay. As my grandma used to say, God willing and the creek don't rise. Uh, we will we will be out of Balloon Fiesta and we'll we'll promote the dates ahead of time. We'll let you know what days they will be. Right now we're planning on uh, the the first two days. Hopefully if if we get good weather we'll see. I won't be the forecaster anymore so you'll have to blame somebody else by then. But it's just such a spectacular thing and it's such an important part of my life. But I'm such a a small part of, of this great, great uh, teamwork that you guys have put together, and I wish you both continued success. Steve Stoker has been with an amazing crowd all morning long. Well, that's right. Steve is live for us at Balloon at the Balloon Museum outdoors. The sun is up, and you have a great crowd. Yeah, they got very quiet all of a sudden. I think they're ner nervous about being on TV like me. Here, uh, Jeff Griego is the uh, crew chief for Smokey Bear Balloon. And, oh my gosh, so many of us go way back with this. Uh, you know, Bill, the original pilot, and 
the uh, the heroic uh, incident he was involved in when he saved the two young boys that were flying with him. He he is passed on, uh, and and you guys continue to to fly and and, and represent the the Forest Service, Smoky Bear, and and all that that stands for. But this is a, a, a totally different organization. You guys are a standalone group that takes care of all the finances of this. Yes, it's a 501c that we're working real hard to get a new envelope made right now. So we have a, a, a GoFundMe page. We have just donations. We sell uh, t-shirts, hats, and whatever we need. And we'll go anywhere throughout the United States to promote uh, education and help. A lot of folks don't realize that there's a very limited shelf life on an envelope, and, and this one is getting up there. Do you have an idea of how many hours you, you have on it or how many years it's been up? We're over 600 hours on it, but we have about another year left. Okay, right. okay. And how's the fundraising going? It's been slow. Everything's been real slow since COVID, so we're trying to get back into the whole swing of uh, events and going okay. out. It's still a little slow. Okay, and, and you mentioned you have a GoFundMe page. Yes. Uh, where, where, where do we find that at? Do we just type smoke? Bear, go fund me. Yes, you should okay. be able to find it there. All right. Well, good luck to you. I'll get over there in a little bit and say hi to the crew. Tell everybody I said hello. All awesome. right. I, will do that. I want to bring Nan in. Uh, Nan Maslin is the uh, the director of the Balloon Museum. Thanks for letting us come out and have a party this oh, morning. I'm so glad. To get <laughs> Oh, we were we were joking earlier. We had almost exactly the same number of balloons that showed up for the original balloon fiesta over 50 years ago. And uh, the museum, of course, is a separate entity. And uh, this is really a world-class collection. The building itself is spectacular. And a lot of folks don't know that they can rent it for weddings and special events and conferences and things. But your main thing is education with kids and residents here. Absolutely. Our mission is to share share the world of ballooning with our local visitors and people from around the world. And there's so many unique stories that we get to tell about adventure and just the, the daring feats that some of our these balloonists have made um, across oceans and and um, just all the competition. Pretty amazing. It is. And I know you do a lot of outreach to local schools. And, and, and so if you're watching and you're a teacher or an administrator, you might want to check on that for next school year. But a little bit more immediately is two days after I retire, she's putting me back to work. But <laughs> it's right. fun. <laughs> I get to host your annual gala that happens Friday. Tell us about That's that. That's right. We're having the Touch the Sky Gala which is um, hosted by our Balloon Museum Foundation. And we couldn't do the work at the Balloon Museum without our support organization run by Executive Director Lori McGovern, who's here today. She's right there. <laughs> and she is a powerhouse that has organized this whole incredible event. There are still just a few tickets left. There will be live music, dancing, and it really supports us in a way that we, we really need here at the museum. Give us the website to find it's, the tickets. It's balloonmuseum.com. I think I could remember yeah. that. Are you ready for this? We have arrived to the grand finale of Steve Sucker's farewell thank you tour. Wow, can you believe it? And of course, Steve is capping things off in a balloon headed up, up and away, Steve. It costs so much money to do it, and it takes so much work and volunteers. It just wasn't worth it. Well, we lost our condo sponsor, and that was... A Hello, everybody. <laughs> and good morning. Sorry, I guess I lost my uh, my communication with the station there. It's my fault I had my volume turned down. But we're, we're here at the Balloon Museum with a couple of my longtime ballooning friends. And I tell you what, one thing about the ballooning community is you make friendships with people from all over the world. My favorite Brit, Peter George, is here, Grand Britannica. And what brings you to town this time of year? Well, I heard you were retiring, so I had to come and say <laughs> happy retirement. I was so shocked to see you this morning. We were Facebook messaging last night, and you didn't give me a peep. I had no clue you were going to be here. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'm so touched. And, and, and my good friend, Scott Appleman, such a hero to me because he has been so much a part of ballooning here in New Mexico. You're spreading it to other parts of the world in Phoenix and Colorado Springs. Your company, Rainbow Riders, uh, does hundreds of flights every single year. And what did I read? How many hours did I say? 6,000 uh, six, hours six, six, that you piloted now? Yes, sir, yeah. Six, uh, almost as long as you've been on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that that is awesome. In case you missed it earlier, I have uh, agreed to uh, 
to do a deal with Channel 4, and I will be back on a limited basis for Balloon Fiesta this year. We're going to do four days, and we're going to lift off as we tell everybody something I love to say. <laughs> really enjoy your life today, and may God bless. Ha, 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 ha.